All right, so speed weaving. Speed weaving is where you make a long single, or I should say double line chain. Notice the two lines of three down the sides. You make a huge chain of this, and later you're gonna place them parallel to each other and attach them later. But this is a very efficient way to start off and make your chains, bracelets, uh, mail, whatever. Uh, so first what you want to do is essentially kind of take an open ring and then you want to pick up your starting point kind of like you would pick up a bug from the two sides. Yep. And then you'll want to find four of the rings that are angling the right way and thread, them, thread the open ring through at the same angle as the middle ring. Right, so this configuration right here is really important. Um, you're going to want to keep this configuration here with the three on one side and the three on the other because it helps you, you know, go fast down the line. Um, if you have them around and, like, you might get six rings in your weave, but your original ring might be in a wrong direction or something, and that's going to create, like, a giant jumble right in the middle. And you're going to have to work that out later, and that's not fun. So... You probably just want to do it right the first time, but it does happen and if you're not careful. Um, but it's no big deal. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one down through this hole, which has those two rings, and then up through these two, right? So that's very important because you see how this ring goes through down in this one and then down in that one. Right, so don't try and sort of mimic it because it's not really possible if you stick this down in this way because it's not physically possible for it to twist back up and then go down that one. All right, so just kind of watch. It's, it's a little bit harder to explain, but first you take this, go through these two, only two, you don't want the three, and then come back up through these two. See that? These two up here. So what you're left with is this ring, the open ring that we started with, it's now going through four, right? And then these two at the back was not touched. They were not touched by the open one that we slit through over here, okay? So you're saying, well, that's only four and we need six. So that's right. So now you can just drop this. You don't really need the configuration later because you're gonna have to find it again anyway. You're gonna get two more and then you're just gonna slide them on. You know, either side, it doesn't really matter because they can just swing around. And then you pretty much just want to close the ring and you've added yet another segment to your growing length of chainmail. Ah. Yeah, watch out because if you're not holding it tight, it's going to jump on you. And if you have a lot of them, it's just, it probably won't hurt you, but it'll make you jump if you're not used to it. You also might lose your place if you drop it. Yeah, that happens. So now you notice how before we had these three at the back, and now we have an extra pair in the front. And now look at, you see how the front is exactly the same as before when we only had one ring in the middle. Now we have two. It doesn't really matter because you just do the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab this. Right? You're going to keep the rings on the left on the left and the rings on the right on the right. It gets a little bit harder to hold it with one finger after when you get a long chain, but you only need the beginning anyway. So now you only want two. Two on this side, two on this side. And the rest don't matter, right? So take this, once again, slide it down on one side, and up through two on the other. Only two, not three. So you get this again, take two more closed rings, put them on either side, doesn't really matter, and then you're going to close them again. Um, depending on your alloy, it might be a little bit hard to twist these things because the wire should be pretty strong, all right? But it depends on what you're doing. Like if you're doing a bracelet, it doesn't really need to be that strong. But if you're actually going to make something, something like a, like a shirt or something, it should be pretty strong. So now we have five on both sides, or five on one side, five on the other one, and three down the middle. But as you can see, this end is exactly the same as before, and this end was not touched. So essentially, if you have more rings, you just keep going down the line. Alright, so the next step that we're going to do is uh, 
we're going to attach two of these uh, long lines together. Now this one is what we made before. I've just extended it out down the down this way, as you can see. Um, and this one we've made previously. It's basically the same thing. You just keep extending it down. So uh, first step, basically, you're going to want the side rings facing the same direction. Now, can you when I put them next to each other? You can see that this side is kind of slanting downwards towards this way, right? That way. Whereas this side is slanting downwards this way. So you're going to want them in the same direction. doesn't matter which one, it's going to have to be the same. So I'm, I'm just going to flip this around. Okay, so now, now we can see that they're both kind of slanting down in the same direction, right? Okay, so you can technically just attach it like this if you want, but I, I tend to want to go starting at the beginning, because usually I get, I get two of these things at the same length and then uh, attach them together so you get a nice solid piece. Um, now, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the ends, all right, and position them right beside each other so that the rings match. So the first two rings are beside each other, second two rings are beside each other, etc., all the way down the line. And basically, this is like the opposite, so to speak, of speed weaving in that you're literally going to find six rings and then stick one ring through them. Right, so you're going to want the first three on one side and then the other three on the other side, so that makes six. All right. So the easiest way to do this is to start whichever side feels comfortable and just take the first three rings. All right, so just do that first. That's a little bit hard here, but 